Hello and welcome to Here Tutoring. In this video, we're going to cover how to solve systems of equations using the elimination method. And the other method for solving systems of equations is the substitution method, which you can learn about in another video. So first, let's remember that a system of equations is basically two or more equations with two or more variables that we use to solve for each of the variables. In this video, we're going to work with two equations with two variables, x and y. To use the elimination method to solve a system of equations with two equations and two variables, we basically need to manipulate the equations so that when we add them together, we get rid of one of the variables. We're going to do this by following five simple steps. The first step is to decide which variable will be easier to eliminate. Try to pick the variable with constants that have the simplest, least common factor. The second step is to multiply one or both of these equations by a constant that results in the variable we chose being the same value but opposite signs in the two equations, for example, 2 and negative 2. The third step is to add the two equations together, which will eliminate that variable. The fourth step is to solve for the remaining variable, and the fifth and final step is to plug the variable we found back into one of the original equations to find the second variable. Now, let's do a simple example together to see how this works. So let's say we have these two equations, 3x plus 2y equals 11 and 5x minus 2y equals 13. Step one, we decide which variable will be easier to eliminate. Here, it's pretty easy to see that the variable y will be easier to eliminate because the constants for y in these two equations are already the same number as well as opposite signs. Step two, we multiply one or both equations by a constant that results in the variable we chose being the same value but opposite signs in the two equations. Well, this is already true for the two equations, so we don't need to do anything extra. That's convenient. Step three, we add the two equations together. To do this, we just add downwards. 3x plus 5x equals 8x, 2y plus negative 2y equals 0, and 11 plus 13 equals 24. So after we add these two equations together, we end up with 8x equals 24. Step 4. We solve for the remaining variable. To do this, we just need to divide both sides by 8, which gives us x equals 3. Step 5. We plug the variable we found back into one of the original equations to find the second variable. So let's plug x equals 3 back into our first equation, which gives us 3 times 3 plus 2 times y equals 3 times 3 equals 9, and then we subtract 9 from both sides, which gives us 2y equals 11. 2. Then we divide both sides by 2, which gives us y equals 1. So our solution for this system of equations is x equals 3 and y equals 1. Not too bad, right? Now let's try one that's a little more difficult. Let's say that our two equations this time are 7x minus 5y equals negative 12 and 6x minus 4y equals negative 8. To do this, let's go through our five-step process. Step one, we decide which variable will be easier to eliminate. Here, I'd say y will be easier to eliminate since the least common factor of 4 and 5 is 20 and the least common factor of 6 and 7 is 42, which is a lot bigger. Step two, we multiply one or both equations by a constant that results in the variable we chose being the same value but opposite signs in the two equations. To do this, let's multiply the first equation by 4 and the second equation by negative 5. Remember, when we do this, we need to multiply every part of the equation by this number. So for the top equation, we do 7x times 4 equals 28x, negative 5y times 4 equals 20y, and negative 12 times 4 equals negative 48, which ends up as 28x minus 20y equals negative 48. Then for the second equation, we do 6x times negative 5 equals negative 30x, negative 4y times negative 5 equals 20y, and negative 8 times negative 5 equals 40, which ends up as negative 30x plus 20y equals 40. Notice that now we have negative 20y in the top equation and 20y in the bottom equation, which are the same value but opposite signs, which is exactly what we wanted. Step 3. We add the two equations together, so we get 28x plus negative 30x equals negative 2x, negative 20y plus 20y equals 0, and negative 48 plus 40 equals negative 8. So we end up with negative 2x equals negative 8. Notice that now we have gotten rid of the y variable, which was our goal. Step 4. 
we solve for the remaining variable. To do this, we'll divide both sides by negative 2, which gives us x equals 4. Step 5. We plug the variable we found back into one of the original equations to find the second variable. So let's plug x equals 4 back into the first equation. This gives us 7 times 4 minus 5 times y equals negative 12, which is equal to 28 minus 5y equals negative 12. We subtract 28 from both sides, which gives us negative 5y equals negative 40. Then we divide both sides by negative 5, which ends up as y equals 8. So our solutions for this system of equations are x equals 4 and y equals 8. How did you feel about these two examples? If you understand them and thought they were easy, great. If you had trouble with them, I would encourage you to go back and watch them again and maybe pause the video and try to work through them yourself to make sure that you can do them on your own. Hopefully, now you know how to solve systems of equations using the elimination method. Thanks for watching and remember to like or subscribe if you find these videos helpful.